A gadget is not gonna make you a good artist. Hey, Alexandra here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to do a bit of a sit down video. <coughs> my voice just cracked. I want to do a sit down video and talk about this baby right here um, tablet and how to choose your tablet and to choose your tablet pretty much that's that's it what to do oh wait my t-shirt is dirty no anyhow i hope you don't see it <laughs> i see it okay i'm in between uh, painting a bunch of ornaments and creating calendars and all that and a few friends asked me in the past few months about what what did I get for for my digital drawing and I just thought maybe this can help more people and also I wanted to answer my friends the question so I don't want to make this a long video so um, I just wanted to go through what questions should you ask yourself when you decide to buy a digital drawing gadget be it a tablet a wacom or yeah i just want to show you then quickly what app i'm using i'm using two apps at the moment and i want to talk about a bit about those and that's pretty much it so for starters i'm using a samsung tablet s6 lite i got it during the pandemic and i it was already i think it came out in 2018 this one and i'm still using it it's still a good tablet uh, it's starting to kind of give signs of old age uh, I, i've noticed this with um, the majority of tablets like android tablets especially after a while this kind of start being a bit laggy maybe it's with all the updates and all that and yeah but it, it got a bit laggy it's still pretty good um, and I'm still using it I'm still creating stuff no problem so a bit of a backstory I got this when I was oh and also while I'm explaining to you this I'm gonna draw something yeah you know what i'm gonna draw i got this during the pandemic uh it was 2020 i think and because I, I was doing traditional art before that and because of the lockdown i was i was having custom orders and all that custom commissions but i wasn't able to send that easily because well lockdown and i took a break then and I was like okay I need to find something because also I needed a hobby and I needed to find something to do and also I needed to pay my bills and I, I had to um, find ways to make money easily more easily so yeah I was playing with the idea of getting a tablet and obviously I wanted to get a an iPad <laughs> but the budget was not there so i'm gonna draw today something christmasy something wintery something like that if i wanted to get a new tablet today and i'm actually doing this because i'm in on the lookout for a new tablet the first question would be what is my budget because i think that's the most important and i know you might be tempted to just maybe you made some money and you have like the money to get uh, an iPad like the newest iPad but I would suggest to be smarter and really really ask yourself what is your budget because it's easy to make a rushed decision and get something just because everybody else has it and it's good and I'm not saying it's not good it's awesome it's great but it's also nice to be aware of your budget and to make decisions for yourself that are gonna serve you and are not gonna add further uh, more anxiety so that's why I'm I would say the first question is what is my budget then you decide decided what your budget is the second question would be what am I using this for and what do I mean by that am I gonna use this 
for my drawing hobbies like I want to doodle randomly maybe every two three days or do I want to actually do this as a as my work am I do I need this for work or is it just a hobby and if it's a hobby great lovely if it's uh, for work yeah you might get to the next question what type of work am I gonna create and what do I mean by that am I gonna create like easy stickers like cute doodles but super like you don't need a bunch of layers it's just three layers and that's it or am I intending to create more realistic like maybe you're a portrait artist maybe you draw animals realistically maybe you do hyper realistic drawings then you're gonna use a bunch of layers and when you use a bunch of layers obviously you need a more powerful tablet because it's gonna use more memory and the processor needs to be like stronger because otherwise it's gonna start working laggy and it's gonna be annoying as frick trust me i know <laughs> then then the next question is what type of gadgets do i already own if you use apple a lot probably you're gonna choose an ipad because it does make sense uh, maybe you have a really good laptop. Maybe you don't want to. You don't want to get a tablet. So maybe you're gonna choose a Wacom that connects to your computer, and it's just gonna work like that. Maybe you have an Android and you wanna get a, an Android tablet. It's yeah. What type of things do I already own? And then I would add that another question you should ask is, where do I plan to create, or do I plan to create stuff while I'm away? Do I need a tablet that I can take with me? Do I need to work on the go? Or am I just gonna be at home or in an office and create for X amount of hours and then go back home? Or yeah, so take that into consideration. And now let's move on to the apps. Uh, obviously you're gonna need something to draw with and let's see if you're choosing an iPad it's pretty self-explanatory you're gonna choose Procreate most probably it's super nice it's super intuitive it's just a good app then if you're choosing drawing tablet maybe you're gonna choose Photoshop Illustrator Krita I think it's also on thing I'm not sure I need to check this out then if you're choosing an Android tablet if you're yeah if you're using if you're deciding on buying an android tablet you have a bunch of options a bunch you have some options first of all you have free options you have the sketchbook app it's pretty great i started using that when i first got the tablet it's it's pretty intuitive then i moved along to infinite painter and i'm still using that i think this in my opinion is the best for what I need and for what I use and I got used to it so probably that's also a factor um, but yeah I have this uh, this tablet infinite painter is pretty it's a pretty great app then uh, you all you have a free version and then you have a paid version and the paid version is I think around ten dollars so it's not that expensive and then this is newer there's a new app high paint which i think it's pretty safe to say it's super close to procreate uh, it has a lot of similarities with procreate it works pretty smooth you also have a paid version if i'm not mistaken with this i've created some animations because as the procreate has it has this option of creating little animations i'm still learning to use it because some if you double tap nothing happens and i know when i go to settings it should happen it, something should happen but for me it just doesn't work i still need to figure this out all in all it's a good app it has a bunch of brushes i like the textures on their brushes way better than on infinite painter and the fact that it has the animation setting that's also very nice i think you can also let me check out i wanted to see if you can save it as svg but you cannot or svgs if you want to create that and you're on android i would suggest 
infinite design it's not amazing amazing but it's good if you want to try something like that unfortunately i don't think there's illustrator anymore it used to be at some point for android now i think it's only for um, Apple and you know Windows. If you're using an iPad, there's Vect Easy for. Uh, there's an app that you can create vectors. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Also for Android, you have Adobe Capture, and you can create SVGs from this, and you can take sketches you have and play around with them. And there's this cool option where it will choose and select the shape and then you can go save it as SVGs and that's pretty nice I would say so I hope you find the perfect option for you and I hope you choose something that works for you and for your budget and I just wanted to say this like a little reminder you don't need a gadget to be a good artist a gadget is not gonna make you a good artist because a gadget is just gonna enhance or give you more possibilities of creating and exploring your crazy ideas but if you're, you're a good artist you're a good artist no amount of apps or the lack of it or tablets or the lack of that will make you be less I know it can be frustrating if you are an artist and you see all these videos and reels and shorts and TikToks and people using the latest apps and the latest tablets and I know it can get like oh man I want that I get it I totally get it but don't make decisions just because you're afraid of missing out something or just because someone else has it it's not worth it if it doesn't help you or if it impacts you negatively like that decision impacts you negatively it's not worth it i hope you find what you're looking for and i invite you to subscribe to my channel let me know if you like this kind of videos like more talk down and less tutorial ish and if you enjoy let me know in the comments and until next time bye